Welcome to Level 365, your unified communications provider. My name is Rebecca and I'm your onboarding coordinator. This video will demonstrate how to use your Yaylink phone. The Yaylink phone is user-friendly and features multiple buttons to access the functions of the phone. We will first go over all the physical buttons on the phone. The message button. Once you push this button, you'll be prompted for your voicemail pin. If you have not already set up your voicemail pin, please refer to the welcome email that you should have received to complete your setup. The conference button. This button allows you to do three-way calling. The mute button. Pushing this button will mute the microphone so the caller cannot hear you. The RD button. This button is for most recent calls. The headset button. Pushing this button will activate your headset if you have one plugged into your phone. The hold resume button. Pushing this button will put the call on hold only on your phone. In order to pick up the call, press the hold resume key again. The transfer button. This button will allow you to transfer calls to another person. The speakerphone button. Pushing this button will activate the speakerphone. Pushing this button when you have an active speakerphone call will hang up the call. There are four soft keys at the bottom of the screen. These buttons change based on what you are doing on the phone at that given time. With no active call, you can see the buttons will have different functions compared to when you do have an active call. With an active call, you will have the options to transfer, hold, conference, or end the call. The soft keys are designed to help provide shortcuts to features based on what you're doing at that given moment. The buttons on the left and the right of your phone screen are programmable keys. The first button is always programmed for your internal extension. The remaining button can be programmed for a variety of other functions. For example, they can be programmed for speed dials and park buttons. Speed dial buttons are used for quick dial access, call pickup, and to see if an internal user is on the phone. If the button is flashing red, you can hit that button to pick up that incoming call for that extension. The button will light up red if that user is on the phone. If you would like the buttons program, please reach out to our support department. This is the volume up and down button. Pushing the plus or minus button will change the volume of what task you're doing at the time. If you are not on the phone, the ringer volume will be changed. If you are on speakerphone, the speaker volume will be changed. If you are on the handset, the volume of that earpiece will be changed. The RD key is used for quick access to the most recent calls so you can redial these numbers. By hitting the RD key, you will be able to scroll through place calls, missed calls, all calls, forwarded calls, and received calls. You can use the arrow keys to scroll up and down, left and right, through the calls. If you want to dial one of the numbers, just highlight the number and hit send. There are three easy ways of placing a call on the phone. Calls can be placed to an internal extension number or an external phone number. When dialing externally, you can use 10 digits or one plus the 10 digits. To place a call using the handset, simply dial the number and pick up the handset. or pick up the handset and dial the phone number. To place a call using the speakerphone, dial the number and hit send or the speakerphone button. Answering a call can be done either via the handset or speakerphone. When a call is ringing your phone, you can answer the phone by simply picking up the handset. If you want to answer the phone, 
call using the speakerphone, you can either hit the answer soft key or the speakerphone button. Each phone can place a call on hold. Keep in mind that the call placed on hold is only on hold on your individual phone, and it can only be picked up from there. Once you have an active call, placing a call on hold can be done by either hitting the soft hold key or the hold button. To pick up the call, just hit the resume soft key or the hold button again. The next function is transferring a call. The key thing to remember is that once you have answered a call, you own that call and need to transfer or park the call in order for another person to pick it up. Transferring a call can be done three different ways. Attendant transfer, blind transfer, and transfer to voicemail. An attendant transfer gives you the ability to announce the call before transferring the call. With an active phone call, hit the transfer soft key or the transfer button on your phone. Dial the person you want to transfer the call to and pause until the phone auto dials. Once you hit the transfer key, the original call will be placed on hold and a private call will be created between you and the person that you are trying to transfer to. This will allow you to announce the call. To complete the transfer, hit the transfer soft key or the transfer button a second time. The phone call will be transferred directly to the attendant person and the transfer will be complete. Let's do one more example. Receive the inbound call. Press the transfer key. Dial the number you want to transfer to and pause until the call auto dials. Announce the caller. Hi Bill, I have Jerry Smith on the phone for you. I'm going to transfer the call to you now. Press the transfer key a second time. This will complete the call transfer. A blind transfer will send a call directly to a person without announcing the call. With an active phone call, hit the transfer soft key or the transfer button on your phone. Dial the person that you want to transfer the call to and hit transfer. This will send the call directly to the attendant person. Let's do one more example. Receive the inbound call. Hit the transfer key, dial the number you want to transfer the call to, press transfer a second time. Transferring straight to voicemail will send the call directly to the intended person's voicemail without ringing their phone. This will only work when transferring to an internal extension number. With an active phone call, hit the transfer soft key or the transfer key on your phone. Dial 99 plus the extension number. Pause until the call auto dials and hit the transfer soft key or transfer key on your phone to complete the transfer. In this example, we're transferring an extension 1002. So we dialed 991002 to send directly to voicemail. Zero, two. Once the call auto dials the internal extension number, you will start to hear the person's voicemail greeting. Don't worry because this message will replay once you complete the transfer by pressing the transfer key again. Let's do one more example. Receive the inbound call. Press transfer and dial 991002. Pause until the call auto dials. One. Zero. and then Zero. press transfer a second time. Using the park function allows a call to be picked up from any phone within the system. Parking places a call on hold on a virtual line. Once a call is placed on park, any other user can pick that call up from any phone on the system. In order to park a call, you will need an active phone call. Hit the star button three times and you will hear, The call is parked at seven, zero, Zero. Once the call is parked, anyone can pick that call up by either dialing the park lane number and hitting send 
or hitting a pre-programmed speed dial for that park position. If you have buttons programmed from the park positions, the button will light up red if there is a call sitting on that park position. As you can see in our example, the Park 700 button is lit up red and you can hit that park button to retrieve the call. One important thing to note is to listen to the message that plays once the call is parked to determine what line that call has been placed on because there may be more than one call parked within your company or your setup may have different parking extensions. Let's do one more example. Answer the incoming call, hit the star button three times to place the call, listen to the incoming message for where that call has been parked. The call is parked at seven, zero, zero. The call was parked on 700. To pick up the call, you can either dial 700 and hit send or hit the pre-programmed park 700 button. The phones are capable of doing three-way calling, which will allow you to merge two calls together for three total parties. In order to make a three-way call, place the first phone call. Once that call is active, hit the conference soft key or the conference button. This will place the first call on hold. Place the second phone call. Once that call is active, hit the conference soft key or the conference button to merge the two calls together. Once the calls are merged together, there is a split soft key option if you want to separate the two calls. To enter into voicemail, hit the message key on your phone. Please enter your password followed by the pound key. You'll be prompted for your voicemail pin. If you have not set up your voicemail pin, please reference the welcome email that you should have received. The first time you log into your voicemail from your phone, you will be prompted to record your name and greeting. Once you are logged into voicemail, follow the prompts to listen to your messages. When you receive a voicemail, there are numerous ways to retrieve that message if your phone is set up for these notifications. First, the red light on your phone will flash, indicating a voicemail. You will also receive an email with the voicemail attached that you can listen to directly from your email. You will also have access to check your voicemail through the mobile app and the web app. Thank you for watching the Yaylink desk phone training video. If you have further questions, please contact our support team using our online support portal by going to support.level365.com. From this portal, you can open a ticket, chat with our support team, and access knowledge-based articles.